Hi, today I'm doing a soft look. I filmed this to go on for Valentine's Day, but I got lazy and I didn't edit it in time. So I'm just going to upload it after, just because why waste a perfectly good tutorial because of my laziness. So this is kind of self-explanatory, I'm just applying primer and foundation. Um, I'm using like a more dewy foundation um, and then I'm just using the correcting shades in the Makeup Store Concealer Trio just to correct and conceal. I first use corrector under my eyes and then I go over it with a light concealer just so that um, I don't go in with a light concealer first because Sometimes whatever like blue tones under your eyes can look ashy so you cancel them out with a peach corrector or a pinky corrector and then they look less ashy and more bright. I am just going over with my um, painterly paint pot over my eyelids as an eye primer as well. So this is a light concealer. It's It looks pigmented but it, it kind of blends out weird and that's why I, I have to put a, a corrector underneath it. It's not like opaque enough to um, be its own concealer if you're going to use it as a highlighting concealer which I do because obviously it's like hundred shades lighter than my skin tone <laughs> and this is the palette that I use like all the time because it's my favorite it's just full of mattes and stuff so I'm using the nude color from the Too Faced Natural Mattes palette as the transition or whatever and then the strapless color which is one of my favorites because it's just like a dusty pink and that's just gonna go in the crease and a bit on the lid and then using that um, pinkish, I don't know what it's called but I use that as a highlight for my brow bone and it's less harsh than a white so that's why I like using that. I'm using Risqué just on the outer corner just to deepen it up a bit to make it look like it's done up well <laughs> and then just taking that strapless color again and putting on the other half of my eyelid the 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 I was gonna say lower half <laughs> the second half of my eyelid I'm then taking the Too Faced glitter glue and I'm not gonna use glitter I'm gonna use one of those ColourPop shadows but just so it can stick a bit better to make it like a tacky base because we cause I was gonna make a tacky joke but it dies Whatever. <laughs> I'm using Just Fur Fun from Colourpop. I'm pretty sure that this is not sold anymore. It was just for the holidays, but any shimmery pink eyeshadow will do. And then taking the dark colour from the Too Faced palette and just kind of like lining it, but not really lining, just kind of outlining. And then doing um, strapless on the bottom and then going back in with Sexpresso, which was the dark colour by the way, just saying. I'm powdering my face with my By Terry powder, translucent powder. It is not good for photographs, but it is amazing for every day. So if you're going on a date, it's a good powder to use because you can touch your face. People can touch your face and it won't budge. And it'll feel like nothing. So there won't be any foundation marks on anyone's face or shoulder or shirt. But as you can see, it has a bit of flashback. Well, oh, I don't know if I'd call that flashback, but it, it comes off, so you have to rub it in really well. Rub it in. You have to pat, brush it in really well. Oh my goodness, I actually can't speak English today. And then taking Mink by Anastasia Beverly Hills as a contour powder. And it looks a bit orange on me today. I don't know why. It's kind of full toned. And then taking those two blush shades from the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. Which is still available, by the way. They're a bit sneaky, aren't they? When they say it's not a, it's going to be some limited edition, and they keep selling it. It's like screw you, hey. But at least I got my hands on it because I was overseas when they started selling it. So win, win for me. Not really a win because it was like ninety dollars, but yeah. Um, then taking the Laura Mercier highlighter. It would actually be cool if you used like a cream highlight highlighter under it, but I didn't really think about it at the time. Um, also, the reason why I like destroyed my brush with it was because um, it's not very pigmented, but when it when you do have enough pigment on it, it 
I think these are really nice highlighter as you can see it like has that glow from within look it doesn't really look like you put powder on top it just looks like your skin's glowing and the important thing for me whenever I put makeup on is just to make it look like skin I don't like looking like I have a lot of makeup on I don't like being a cake face which is kind of funny because I'm literally putting makeup on all the time for videos I'm just going over it with Strike by Colourpop, this is a blush topper because pink. I'm then putting Strike on the inner corner of my eyelids just because pink. I'm just taking off any excess um, lip balm that was on my lips because it's a bit slippery and slimy. And then lining it with some Nature lip liner. I, the name is rubbed off but I don't know what it's called. But it's like a dark kind of plum colour, I assume. But I am blending it in with my lips so that it's not very opaque. As you can see, oops, I dropped it. And there's me just blending it in. And then over the top I'm using Jeffree Star's Chrysanthemum, which I'm pretty sure is still available. I got mine from Beautylish. It's a really nice liquid lipstick. Um, I'm putting it over a dark base so that it darkens the colour off of it. And it doesn't dry, like it dries matte obviously, but it's not a matte finish. It's kind of a little bit sparkly, has a sheen to it, which is why I, like, I'm in love with this lipstick. Say so what you want about Jeffree Star, I don't care. And there you go, that's the finished look. Um, yeah, this is my belated Valentine's Day look. At some point I put mascara on, I don't remember when, but yeah. Now it's time to play with my hair and pose and try to find a way to make this look look cute. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, whatever. And I'll see you next time.